Welcome back. In part two, you're going to learn how to finish the top edge of the bag and the bottom. Let's get right into it. We left off at the final pass, meeting up with the beginning uh, into that final square. Now we're going to go across the top edge, creating a border. And I'm going to, um, you can see that we left off on this hole right here. I'm actually going to grab the cord uh, by putting the hook into the next hole. And pull up the loop. And we're going to crochet sideways instead of on the diagonal at this point. So we're going to continue, put into the next hole, pull up a loop, next hole, pull up a loop. We're going to continue doing this all the way around the bag until we meet up at the starting point. And now you'll see I'm coming up to where we started. Okay, so that's where we started. Now I'm going to go up to um, the next hole on the diagonal and I'm going to do another pass around so You can see we just crossed over onto the next row of squares and We're going to do this row of squares twice So we'll do we'll squeeze in some more loops right into this um, little vacant area right here because we want it to be tight. We don't want to leave any, um, any gaps. Now, coming into the second time around on this, this set of squares, we're just going to continue straight through. Nothing fancy, you just keep continuing going around and squeezing into that space that you left from the first time around. Okay, so I've just finished up the third time around and I'm going to go into the next set of squares in the next level. And I'm gonna repeat exactly what I just did on the first, um, the first one that we did too. I'm gonna to do two rows of the stitches in this level, level as well. Now for the top row, the very last row of uh, squares, we're going to go around in the same fashion one time. And then we're going to top it off with um, uh, like a reverse crochet stitch. So we're gonna continue with doing the single crochets all the way around the bag. And then we'll meet up and we will show you how to do the top edge. So I finished the single pass all the way around on the very top um, layer of squares and we're going to start our cap of the top of the bag. I'm going to um, keep my cord on the, the correct, this side of the bag. I'm not going to pull through to the other side as we've been doing all of the other times. Um, I'm going to yarn over or cord over, it's technically cord, but we'll say yarn over, pull through a loop, 
and then you're going to go into the next stitch the actually you're going to go between the loops so you're going to go into the stitch with your hook so go into your stitch yarn over or grab a loop pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both layers of cord okay and you're going to continue doing that so from here you're going to go into the next stitch with your hook right into the center of the loop grab the cord pull up a loop yarn over pull through both cord go through the next loop of the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through both loops go through the next stitch grab the cord pull up a loop yarn over pull through both so you end up with a bit of a, a knotted pattern on the top almost like little beads or little knots that cap the bag nicely and finish off that top edge and you continue going all the way around the bag and we'll meet up as we when we come to the finish and I'll show you how to end off the pattern So we've completed all of the knots around the top edge and gone into the very last stitch. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put my hook into one of the stitches into the next stitch. Let's see if I can make it so you can see it on the camera very clearly. So this is where I ended. I'm going to go into this stitch, which happens to be that um, um, yarn over, the first yarn over stitch that you did when you finished the, um, the cord, um, the top row round. So you're gonna go into that, grab your loop and pull it through. So that will finish that off. And then you can loop through Actually, I'm going to make the loop bigger. Oops. Put my spool through. And then pull it to tie it off. And then you'll snip the cord and as with all crochet product projects, you're going to um, snip the cord and this free end, you're going to weave through um, your project to um, finish it up. And we'll actually go through all of the finishing steps um, at the on the third video when we um, do all of the little details that make the bag look perfect. So that we're finished with that. Now we're going to do the bottom. Now we're going to uh, demonstrate how to finish the bottom of the bag. Um, this bag being that it's a large size bag, people will put a lot of things in these and car carries a lot of weight. Um, I like to make sure that the bottom isn't going to buckle uh, when someone's carrying it. You don't want to see like this big bulge hanging down the bottom when they're carrying it. So I reinforce the bottom with just an extra piece of the plastic canvas. It doesn't matter, there's no precise size that you need to do. Um, um, so there's no real pattern that I need to give you. But you want it to be wide enough that it covers most of the center of the bag. Um, and so the one I chose, it's about 15 squares uh, across and um, I bend it to the shape and as I did here so you can see that it fits right into the shape and this is going inside the bag so you put inside the bag 
and you find roughly the center. It does not have to be exact. And you're going to line up your squares so that you're going to crochet through both layers of um, the canvas. So roughly like that, okay? Now to start your pattern for uh, the base of the bag, you wanna find your center um, row of squares. So start from the outside corners on both edges and I kind of go in on the diagonal and meet up at some point right here. So this right here is where I'm going to start my bag, the, um, uh, the line, uh, bottom edge of the bag. And you can see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're gonna end up the same thing on the other side. You're gonna be eight holes from the bottom edge, the, the side edge um, on your first pass. So to demonstrate that, start with your cord, make your loop. Okay, you're going to count up. Well, you're gonna find the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna count up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is where you're going to start. So you're going to start with your hook inside that eighth hole. Pull up your cord and you're going to go across doing your yarn over, pull up a loop as you go. And you're going to work into that additional piece of canvas that you put in to support the base. When you're working yourself, it might be a little bit easier than trying to record it on video. I wanna to try to make sure you can see it, but then I can't see what I'm doing half the time. So, keep going into both layers of your plastic. And you're going to stop. Let's see where I'm at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have a few more to go. Um, so one, two, three, four, five more to go before we're going to turn and do a, an additional pass. So I think I'm done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one more. One more. So you will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the other side. All right. We're going to leave those empty for now. And now we're going to make a turn. And this is the tricky part. We're going to make a nice angle um, with this particular pattern. Let's see if I can do it so you can see it. It's a little tough. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to um, start, I'm going to go into the um, stitch, the previous stitch, 
with your hook and then I'm going to yarn over pull up a loop and then I'm going to go into the stitch next to okay so I went into this this stitch and now with this loop and this loop together I'm going to go into the stitch next to the first um, the last stitch that I completed in the row okay so we're gonna go across on a diagonal back to the diagonals again okay and pull through both stitches both loops and then you go back into the same stitch that second stitch in the row loop over and go across to the one next to it and pull through all right I'll give you some cords so you can see so the first one started here went into the second stitch looped over brought it to the stitch on the second um, time the second pass if you'll call it that and um, pulled through both loops and then you go back into that same stitch you just did on the second one and go into the one across from it loop over and pull through both loops and you'll do that every single time you come to a corner and I will demonstrate that several times and then you continue going into the previous row that you did and into the one next to it so you're going in yarn over pull up a loop go into the other uh, vacant square pull up a loop and pull through Okay, so I've come to the last square that we did on the first course and I'm going to do um, the quarter here so I'm going to go into the same um, square that I just did pull up a loop go to the one above it okay so I'm going in the same row that I'm working on here, line over, pull up a loop. Okay, so you continue that. Now we're going to go back into the same stitch again. So this one actually gets done three times and into the one right above it. stitch so pull up a little bit bigger loop all right so you'll see you make a square okay now we're going to do the other side so we're here on this this um, square right here we're going to go into the same one so actually I said it's done three times it's actually done four times so we're gonna go back into this square again pull up a loop go into the one the next one in this row pull up a loop and pull through both loops and then I'm going to go into this again so maybe it's five times um, but anyways you want to keep doing your angle this way on the corners um, let's see if I can do it again so you guys can see 
Okay, into that square, pull up a loop, go into the one, the next one in that row, pull up a loop, pull through two, back into that one, pull up a loop, go back into the one next in the row, pull through, oops, pull through both loops. So you can see, you continue with the square. That's the only time that this particular one is the only square that gets done all those times. Um, just It's just because it's the first one, the first time around. So you're going to continue with what you were doing. Go into, I'm off screen, here we go. You're gonna go into your square, pull up a loop, into the next one. Keep going this whole row again. So I'm back at another corner. I'm going to show you this one as well. So you're going to go into um, the previous round here. Go through, I really wish my hand wasn't in the way so you could see. I'm gonna go into this loop here I'm gonna go into that square, yarn over, yarn over, pull up a loop, go into the one next to it. So I'm just finishing up this row. Okay. And now we're going to go into this square here and make a turn. So I'm going to go into the previous stitch again, pull up a loop here, go into the next um, the next square in the series and yarn pull through both oops, pull through both stitches okay? And then we're going to, I'm gonna turn the bag so I can see a little bit better. So now we're going to go into, um, let's see, where are we here? We're going to go through the same stitch because we're gonna do this stitch, this um, hole here. So the one directly above this row. So again, we're gonna go through the same It's a little tighter because we've gone through a couple times. There we go. Into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull up, go into the next square in your row, yarn over, pull through both, both uh, loops. So again, you have that corner, a square corner. Now we're gonna do this stitch here, this uh, square here. So we're gonna go into this stitch, this loop, here into that square, yarn over, pull up, go into that square, and pull through both. All right, and as we've continued before, we're going to do this square next, but we're going to go into this stitch, the one, the second stitch in the row, and do that one on the, the angle. So we're gonna go pull in, pull up a loop, go into this stitch, this square, pull up a loop and pull through both. So into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the square you're doing next, yarn over, pull up a loop and through pull through both stitches. So again, you've got your next row. And now we're going to do this stitch, uh, this square right here. So again, go through the same one that you just did. So the ones on the corner get done a couple of times. Okay. So we've just made our square again. And once you get several rounds done, 
you're going to see there'll be a nice, um, nice edge, nice angle right there in all four corners. So I'm going to have you keep going and just keep going around and around. There's no exceptions. Um, that's how the bottom is done. And when we get to the last round, I'll meet up with you again. So we've come to the end of all of your rounds, making the basic bottom part. Now we're going to finish off this little teeny bit of edging right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the cord, tuck the cord inside the bag. So I'm gonna go through um, with my hook from the inside out grab a hold of my loop I'm going right into the corner square pull through my loop there we go okay and I'm going to do regular what we would call the single crochets going in each hole um, from here. So I'm going to go into the next hole. So there's my corner. I'm going to go into the next hole and pull up my cord. You pull up your loop, of course, make it smaller. And I'm going to go into the next square. Okay, so I'm in this square here. I'm going to go into the next square. There. I'm going to finish off this whole edge just doing every single square. all the way around the bag. Now when you're just coming around to finish, you have a couple more. Oops. And we're done. So we have the first hole that we started in, which is the corner and we have our loop. I'm going to put the loop through the inside of the bag as we've done many, many times. So I'm gonna go inside with my hook into that last corner stitch. Here we go. And I'm gonna pull through to the inside of the bag. And from the inside, Gonna pull up and you're gonna tie off your my spool of cord tie off give it a good pull and that will finish off into the corner of the bag and you'll snip off your cord and then we'll do our finishing touches after that. If you're enjoying this project, please give it a like. I would love to read your comments and questions. Also share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you'll know right away when I post new projects. And next we will do in the third part of our video, we will do the straps and all the finishing touches of um, finishing up our beautiful tote bag.